Hey everybody, Joy here. <laughs> Joy here at my other house in Edmond. Oh my goodness, I came in here about a half hour ago. It was so cold. When I left last time, I figured it was going to be spring, right? So it's going to be real hot outside. <laughs> so I left the thermostat on cool, like, what did I put it on? A like cool 75 maybe. Maybe cool 70 or whatever. But anyway, I came in here and it was 59 degrees in the house. <laughs> My hands were blue. They're still freezing. Hence the hot tea in my beautiful pack cup. <laughs> mm. And speaking of tea, mm. somebody told me that that kind of tea that I was telling you about from that tea place at the mall, I told you it was called Peach Side. Well, the girl took a C and put it right next to an L. So it looks like a D. But somebody told me it was called Peach Sickle. So if you separate the C and the L, it would be peach sickle. So evidently that's peach sickle tea from, from wherever I got it. <laughs> I don't remember what it's called. Tea, tea something. Anyway, this isn't what I'm drinking. I was too lazy to unpack that. I did bring it. I have like one teaspoon left of it. Mm. But this is some other kind of peach, and it's good, too. So, I called my brother, and I said, I'm in town, and I brought you a birthday present. When can you come by? And he said, well, Mondays are terrible. I said, well, pick a day any day, and I'll give you your birthday present. So, if things go well, you never know how things are going to go well or badly when somebody's coming to your house. Sometimes people are like, oh, yeah, I want to make a video with you. And other people are like, yeah, turn that camera on. I had an employee do that to me one time. <gasps> oh, my gosh. I went into her office. She was brand new. I just hired her. I went into her office with my cell phone to take her picture because I have to make everybody a badge, and their badge has to have a picture on it. And I said, Kathy, I need to take your picture. Can you smile for me? Why are you taking my picture? I said, I need to take a picture for your badge. Why well, you can take it this once, but don't you ever take it again. <laughs> Dear God. Is she in the victim protection program or what? Who have we hired? <laughs> I heard that she was very friendly with our delivery drivers. <laughs> so that was good. <laughs> anyway, I always, I like Viv in that I order stuff and as soon as I order it, I completely forget. Sometimes I'll remember because I'll be waiting for it. Other times it was a sale. And it's probably the exact same sale that Viv went to at Fabric Mart. I haven't even looked at the label. I just know this has to be fabric from Fabric Mart. So after I left town, I got a notice from UPS or USPS or somebody that my package had been delivered. And it was delivered here instead of to my other house because I forgot it was coming. Hello. Thank goodness my next door neighbor always checks on my mail for me. She's the sweetest thing. I don't get anything here but junk mail unless I'm here in town and then I'll start to get real mail. But she always checks my mailbox and she collects all my junk mail and puts it in a big bag and puts it on my patio. So I went back there. My junk mail was there. And guess what else was there? Tomcat Stitchery, Whitney. That jacket pattern. I don't know how long it's been sitting on the patio here, but the jacket pattern was here too. And I specifically Talked to them in person on the phone. I said, I want to make sure you get the right address to send this jacket to. And so the girl emailed me back and said, well, I had to go back downstairs to the, to the mail department and go through all the mail to find that. But I changed the address and had to go to your Kingston home. No, it was on the patio here all this time. <laughs> so I can finally work on my jacket pattern now that it's summertime and I don't even need it. All right, you want to watch me open my fabric? I hope I quit coughing, you guys. I suddenly have the urge to continually cough. <laughs> it's probably because I've been running, 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 running. My car is full like I'm moving when I get here. And before I unpacked, I went around the corner to Brahms, and I put probably six grocery bags full of groceries in with what I already had. So I've been coming in, going out, coming in, going out, coming in, going out, coming in, going out. 
<laughs> so anyway, I saved the best tool last. So let's open my fabric, okay? Okie dokie, here we go. Ta-da! Piece number one. This is a knit, and it has roses on it. So of course I had to order it. Of course. If it has roses, you have to have it. Hopefully. Do you remember the blue and white fabric that I used to make that blouse with the peplum that a lot of people said looked horrible on me and a lot of people said looked really good on me? That same fabric, I had another piece of it at the other house and I had another piece of it here. I had bought it three times. <laughs> so I really like that fabric. <laughs> but I'm sending lots of fabric to Rebecca Janes. Did I get her name right? I think that's right. I'm going to send another box of fabric to her this week because here we actually have a UPS store right down the street and we have a post office not too far away too. So a lot better than my other house where we live in the woods. Anyway, this is really pretty, isn't it? Yes, I like it. I like it. I love it. I'm so proud of it. Oh, the way your mind works when you're old. Okay, here's the next piece. How about this one? This is a knit just like that one, same weight, same feel, but it's blue. This is a blue one. So, that's pretty. That's a pretty one. I like it too. Huh? I might lay these on the table and cut them both out at the same time and make the Kim top out of it. That thing sews together so fast. Oh, I just love it when it pleats and gathers and stuff. Oh, I should make a cow. I just love cows because they're so drapey. Mm. I don't have one perfected yet though. Well, that's two pieces. I wonder how many more I got. Here's another one. <laughs> What's this one, ladies? Well, let me see. Hey, did y'all find Catalina? On my last video where I was using my cell phone and I was at my other house. I just did it yesterday. I talked to you about Catalina and her video about iron that she took apart. If you will scroll down the comments, or if you'll look in the description box. In the description box, I told you where to go to find the iron video, but if you'll scroll, scroll, scroodle, scroll down the comments to find Cat Can Do. It's C-A-T-K-A-N-D-O, or D-U, Cat Can Do and read her comment. She put a link in there to both of her videos. She did another video after that iron one. Y'all, it is really cute. If you quilt, you've got to go look at it. She took a little piece out of a sheet of a real pretty print and made a framed photo out of it. Darling idea. So, here you go. Oh, here's a label. Navy blue, rose red, rose pink. This is the same exact stuff those other two are. Oh my goodness, how pretty is that one? This one is navy blue, and it has red and pink and green and yellow. Did you know yellow is a big deal this spring? Oh my goodness, not just yellow, but... Wow, pow! Wake you up, yellow! <laughs> Philly and I went into... Remember when we went to buy the tea? We walked through Dillard's that day. We walked in the front door and it was the women's department and they had on the mannequin this full suit, jacket, shirt, skirt, bright, solid, bright yellow. Both of us looked at it and said, oh my gosh, who would ever wear that? <laughs> Whoever wears it, you're sure not gonna miss them. Anyway, I love yellow. Yellow used to be my favorite color, but I don't look good in yellow unless it's like that one. I probably could actually wear that or I used to could. I used to be tan. I used to be so dark. I looked like a different nationality. My skin was just dark brown all the time because I grew up in Phoenix, Arizona and I have olive skin anyway and I tan in like 15 minutes. I was dark, dark, dark when I was young. Okay, that's three pretty knits. This one's my favorite. It's gorgeous. What else did you get, Joy? Oh, here's a white one. Same thing. It must have been ITY Knit Day on sale. This one's very nice too. Oh, that is really pretty. What do you think about that, you guys? It's too white for me probably. I don't look good in white anymore. But that's a very pretty one. Oh, I like that one too. Mm, 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 mm. 
Very pretty. Very, where am I going to put these? Because <laughs> my houses are both full of fabric. All right, is this the last one? No, it is not. Here's another one, same weight, same kind of stuff. <clears throat> this one isn't very long. This must have been end of bolt. Look, there's only a yard of this. What's that about? How can you make something out of one yard? I don't know what that's about. Is this the same as that one? Oh, oh no, they chopped it up, you guys. Look at what they did. They chopped it up. Oh, you can't chop stuff up. Can you? Can they chop stuff up like that? Oh my goodness. Maybe they gave me extra. Maybe when I read the paper, it'll say it's the extra end of the bolt or something. Oh my. <clears throat> All right, is this the last one? <laughs> yes. It's amazing how much you can stuff in an envelope. Another, ooh, another black one, but look at that golden yellow. <gasps> golden yellow and pink. Oh my. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Oh, my gosh. If y'all haven't been over there, Tomcat Stitchery, to see the way she does that full bust adjustment for knits so you don't have to do a dart. I already made up a blouse with it. Perfect. Absolutely perfect fit. I threw it in the garbage. Why did I throw it in the garbage? Because it was really weird material. It was a knit that had all of those, they weren't pleats, they were like ridges. It was a pink knit, had all these ridges in it. And so I used the same fabric to bind the neck with. And then I went over to my iron and I ironed it the same way I always do. And it ruined the neckline, it just hung all over the place. I just can't stand stuff that looks like that, so it's in the trash. But this is pretty too, isn't it? So all these fabrics are the same lightweight knit and will all be new tops for me. I told Jerry, I said, I'm going to try to make myself start leaving what I make in Edmond stays in Edmond. What, I, what happens in Kingston stays in Kingston. <laughs> I don't know if I can do it, but I'm going to try. And yes, I made this. My husband noticed this this morning. He said, boy, that blouse fits you perfect. I said, that's because I made it. He said, well, I figured that. <laughs> I don't know what pattern it is. I would imagine as old as it is, it's probably sure fit designs. So, it is Sunday. It is the 31st of March. Tomorrow's April 1. Tomorrow, the adjuster comes to look at my roof, and the man that's already been up there is coming back. And, um... Sometime this week, my brother will be by, and I'll try to get at least a picture of him opening his present. <laughs> but right now, I brought a different computer with me. My um, Spectre is fried, totally fried. Bless his heart. Man has the patience of Job, which, of course, is why he can be married to me. He spent hours and hours. He was able to get the computer to come back on, and it'll do that sometimes. It'll just suddenly come back on. And so... He completely erased everything on it, and then he's got all of this stuff back to try to put on it and rebuild it from scratch. And it had to run all night because it took several hours. And we got up this morning, he went and he came back and he said, Joy, your computer's fried. It is just completely dead. I said, throw that thing in the lake. The lady told me it's supposed to be an anchor. <laughs> but then, he is so sweet. He went, and I told him, I said, I think I want a Dell this time. I, I can afford a Macintosh, and I would buy a Macintosh, but I have a ton of software that I bought for my PC. And I don't want to not be able to use all my software because it won't work with a Mac. So, a lot of people said they have Dells. We have always had Dells. We have a Dell here, um, desktop here. We have a Dell desktop out there. All of our store computers were Dells, and we've had really good luck with those. So, Jerry got online. And he did some research to find out what's the best Dell with the most memory and the most storage and the fastest speed and the brightest color and blah, 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 blah. <laughs> so he bought me a new Dell laptop this morning. And it will be delivered here, I think he said Thursday. And he will be here Friday or Saturday. He's taking a four-day weekend, miracle of all miracles. 
and he'll be four days this coming weekend and so he can help me get that new laptop set up but between now and then I have my old laptop that's in Lenovo I already put a video on it a short one so it's only one minute long and it it's like